All right, so I've had the space heater on for, I don't know, just five minutes. You can see it's hot. You can see the cord's pretty warm. Um, I'll have to turn it off and check later to see if the outlet's very warm. But here's something I did notice. The light switches on the wall. Now, there's no lights, no fan, no, there's nothing on. But that's warm. So, these two, let's see, how does this work? Um, this rotary is the um, ceiling fan, and it's off. And, shoot. These two I leave on, but I don't remember why there's two of them. For the outside light, uh, it's motion activated, and it's turned off. Now, I didn't check this before I turned the heater on. So, I wonder if this is what it's connected to for power. Because that shows some pretty significant warmth. Mm. We may have to pull these out of here and find out what the hell. Interesting, yeah? So, um, let's do this. Let me get the remote for the heater and kill it. Okay. <clears throat> let's see if this, let's see if this slows down at all. So now it's in cooling mode, the heater is. It's, um, blowing air through it, but no, I don't know. I'll come back in a minute. All right, well, relative comparison. Right now it's not hot. It's hotter than the surrounding area. Let's see if I can get that window out of there. Yeah, so. I gotta pull those switches out of the wall and plug that heater back in. That's uh, interesting. All right, we'll do that right now. All right, I let it cool down for probably 10 minutes and I pulled the wall switches out of the wall and I just now turned the heater on. Wow, look at that. Okay. I didn't move these switches, they're still in the up position. But already you can see something's blazing. Now, I don't know if this is connected to the heater or not. Nope. Nope. Okay. So it's just pulling the hot and the neutral from this place. I mean, look how freaking hot that is. Ninety-seven degrees. Okay, so that is that white spot. You see the white spot and then a kind of a right come on. Right there where the cursor is. That's the cap. For twisting what looks like three white wires together. So the heater is obviously pulling power from inside this box. And let's see if we can figure out what this one is. It's plenty warm. Uh, oh. Well, it's plenty damn warm, I can tell you that. All right, this one's just easier to kind of figure out. So, okay, so those three, they're painted, they had overspray on them, so I think they're white wires, so they're neutral. And I don't really 
really see anything else in there that's flaming hot other than right there man that's a bit warm 110 huh it's got a big cap on it but you never know <clears throat> they didn't twist it together well or that's just what happens when you turn 1500 watts of power on so you can see the switch all the wiring right behind it is uh let's see what are those hot spots so what I'm trying to figure out here is what, on this switch, what is it exactly that's hot? Um, let's see. Okay, well, all right. So here's what I see. Sorry, that's the flare doing that. I have nothing to do with that pause. Um... There's two wires going to the same screw terminal at the bottom here. See that round thing where the cursor is right there? That's a screw terminal. And there's a white wire going to it. And the white wire is pretty darn warm. And then you can't see it, but in the back of the switch, oh, maybe that's the other wire. Um, yeah, that's, that's uh, going vertical straight up there. That's a, it's a black wire. So. No, it's not shorted, but anyway, um, they're not actually connected under the same screw. They're connected, ouch, they're connected through, I think, the switch. The switches often have, um, you know, screw terminals, and in the back they'll have just a push-in terminal. And you don't want to use the push-in side when, when you're going to run some current. You just don't want to do that. Um, but I think that's exactly what's going on here. So it's using, yeah, that might be a crappy connection inside the switch. Um, although I don't know if on switches you're supposed to run two, two wires under one screw head. Um, it depends on how these switches are, but uh, I will look at that one it's obviously see what's happening is all right you see where the round circle there is that's the screw head you see a hot wire that's red going up and slightly to the right and then you see let's see if i can get it in the frame here this is not easy to do and then you see this white thing right here that's the other vertical wire coming off the same thing now i don't know why it's not hot Oh, it's probably because it's inside the switch, you can't see it. So they're coming from the same contact, the same pole. So what's happening is the damn thing, um, these wires are just getting a lot of power pulled through them. And having to go through this switch um, to power that thing is not helpful. If I turn the switch off, nothing's going to change because this switch is just for the lights outside. Like I said earlier, and they're, they don't pull anything. So look at that. Okay, let's go back to our other one here. All right. 127. 115. So the nut's a little warm, the wire's a little warm, and then you can see it cools down quite a bit after that. Now, the wiring, okay, here we go, different switch, similar problem. The two wires are coming together at the same point, so they're hot, and they come to the switch to supply power to the light. Um, and then it branches off and goes to this outlet down here. I mean, I've got new switches. I don't have a problem swapping it out, but I don't know if that's actually going to fix it or not. These contacts can get oxidized, plus if they're loose, blah, 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 right? 
Anyway, all right, wow. You learn something new when you get a new tool. Okay, I'll work on this and post a video later. I'm boring everybody to death, but this is great information for me. It's how you keep a fire from happening. All right, see you, bye.